What's her name? Billings? Constantine Billings. Constantine Billings? Uh, you evidently like her work. I know very little more about her than I was able to fathom from her manuscript. She had a wonderful message to deliver, and I was willing to gamble the public would pay to receive it. Well, what's the theme of her story? Matrimony, the divinity of marriage, the home as its sanctuary. A very stabilizing force in this modern era of recklessness. Coming from a bachelor, that's an interesting statement. Well, you don't have to belong to the police force to believe in law and order. No, well, I suppose not. Women like Constantine Bellings are the backbone of decent society. People who believe there's something sacred in marriage. I am hopeful that her novel will spread this philosophy to the many who need it. Colonel, I congratulate you. And I bow my head in respect. I think your office has arrived. <laughs> entrance was greeted by a loud silence. Suppose that indicates how a book will sell. My dear, dear Colonel, how simply divine of you to come. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Oh, you are a darling, Colonel, just a darling of a darling. I can't tell you how delighted I am. I'd uh, like to have you meet a friend of mine. This is Mr. O. Henry. Undoubtedly, you've heard of him. Oh, yes, indeed, I have. You're a publisher, aren't you, Mr. O. Henry? Uh, Mr. O'Henry is an author. Oh, how perfectly thrilling. What novels have you written? Well, I write short stories, Mrs. Bellings. I hope to write a novel someday. You will. All it takes is talent. Uh, Constantine, those two gentlemen behind you, is one of them your husband? Oh, how thoughtless of me. Darlings, do come and meet some friends of mine. You've heard me speak of my publisher, Colonel Durbin. This is Colonel Durbin. And his friend, Mr. O. Henry. Mr. O. Henry aspires to write a novel someday. I'm a great admirer of yours, Mr. O. Henry. I've just about read everything you've written. Oh, I'm very pleased. They're fine short stories. You should be very proud of them. Well, a few of them are missed, but I guess we all make mistakes. <laughs> yes, you're right about that. I'd certainly like a second chance to correct some of mine. <laughs> well, shall we have some hot tea? I don't think we're in the mood for tea, are we? I guess not, dear. Why don't you have your tea with Colonel Durbin, Mr. O'Henry? We'll join you later. All right. Excuse us. Excuse me. Oh, Henry, I'm frightfully worried. Why? Well, it's perfectly obvious that that man isn't her husband. What makes you so certain? I'm a man of the world, O. Henry. And being such, it's very easy to tell a husband from a, uh, let us say, a special kind of friend. You amaze me, Colonel. Are you ready now for that hot tea? 